rise and grind. The whiskeys that I can't stop buying. Let's get into the list. Here at Rise and Grind, we equip you with everything that you need. What whiskeys to drink, what cognacs to buy, what wines to store, what cigars to smoke. How do I elevate and get to that next level? And in this video, we just want to share with you some of the whiskeys that are so good that I can't stop buying them. And the first whiskey that we have is Eagle Rare. Now, I know in a lot of places, this is so hard to come by. And for a while, I had decided to stop buying these. But then I got another taste. This is so delightful, especially as summertime is upon us. This is the perfect summer sipper. This gives you these vanilla with toffee and orange notes. This is so pleasant, and especially if you can get you a store pick, they become so much better. Now, I don't spend more than $50 on these, but for $50, you get a 10-year age bourbon that is pleasant, it's balanced, this is just so delightful. This is the perfect drink to have on a hot summer day. Because of that, I just can't stop buying these anytime I see it. In fact, if I see it for 60 and under, I'm pulling the trigger. Eagle Rare, a great choice. The next whiskey that I just can't stop from buying is Early Times. I don't care whether it's the black cap or the blue cap, for about $25 a liter of just goodness. Sweetness, some pepper, knowing that I've only paid about $25, I can mix this, I can have it neat, I can drop an ice cube in it, I can have me a whiskey slushy. I can do whatever I want with it because of the value. And so whenever I see these, I buy it. These are great party favors. These are good to just have on hand because no one's gonna have some of this and not like it. The taste, the quantity, the quality, the availability, early times, bottle and bond. I've got about three of these, one liters. And if I see another one, I'm pulling the trigger and getting another one. I can't stop buying this because every purchase is such a great economic decision. Early times, because of the value, I can't stop buying these. We hope that you are enjoying this video. If you are, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment. What are the whiskeys that you can't stop buying? Like, comment, subscribe. If you've been following this channel, you know that Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. I've got these going all the way back to 2019. I cannot stop buying these. The quality is always present. Whether or not the proof goes up, goes down, whether or not the age statement goes up or down, the quality is always there. I drink a lot of good bourbon. I drink the Willits and the Buffalo Traces Weller and, and all these, but I always come back to Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. There is nothing that's better than these. You get these three times a year. These are a great value. They used to go for about $60. Now they hover around $75. The Larceny Barrel Proof is also really good, but if and whenever I see an Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, I'm buying it. I cannot stop buying these. The taste, the proof, the blending, the aging, these are one of the best values in bourbon. These can go head to head 
toe to toe with any of the high proof, high end bourbons. Elijah Craig, barrel proof. And the next whiskey that I just can't stop buying, we've got Jack Daniels, single barrel, barrel proof. This is banana pudding in a bottle. The proof varies on these. The quality is always there. The taste is always amazing. They are now coming out with a rye version of this. The Jack Daniels single barrel, barrel proof offering are among the best values in bourbon. This $65 bourbon, I would put this against anything. And so whenever I see one of these, I'm buying it. Jack Daniels single barrel, barrel proof. I just can't stop buying these. And the last whiskey in this video of whiskeys that I just can't stop buying. We've got this Old Forester 1920. I think this might be my third or fourth bottle of this. This is the perfect proof. I would call this even the perfect bourbon. It comes in at a, such a price, about $60. You can enjoy this neat. You can drop an ice cube in it. It goes great with a cigar. You can drink this midweek, weekend, celebration. This 1920, I call this the poor man's birthday bourbon. Because it's a Brown Foreman product, you get that banana note to it, which just gives it a good sweetness. Now, I really like the Old Forester Single Barrel Barrel Proof. That has this pecan note. But the 1920 keeps that Brown Foreman banana note. This, whenever I see it, I'm buying it. This is one of the best values in whiskey. Old Forester 1920. We hope that this video has helped you. If we've helped you, then help us. Hit like, leave a comment, and subscribe if you are not subscribed already. Most importantly, rise and grind.